nurses, we are so, it is so easy for us to blame ourselves. We blame ourselves for everything. We take every bit of responsibility right here. And it's so hard for these, these nurses because they are terrified they're going to make a mistake and infect someone. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. This is why the issue is so big. This is why this is so much bigger than politics or even who's president. We exist as During journalists. During this time when there's so much focus on our physical health, it's important not to Isolation forget Isolation can make one feel even more depressed, anxious, and confused. What made you want to become a nurse and go into the healthcare field? So I was a United States Navy hospital corpsman um, during the Desert Storm era, and I learned how to take care of people. And of course, the people I was taking care of were active duty military retirees, vets. And I realized that I personally never came in contact with this community. And my father-in-law was a vet, Vietnam First Cavalry, uh, Bronze Star, Purple Heart, asked me before he died of cancer related to Agent Orange, of course, to please go work for the VA because they needed more good nurses. So that's how I wound up where I am. It has taught me that nurses are used to being abused. Um, nurses work for compliments. And um, I, I fully and truly believe that nurses have like battered wife syndrome male or female nurses with hospitals because hospitals make threats and nurses, especially in hospitals that aren't like unionized or whatever and have no voice. We are the scapegoats of medicine. And let me tell you, we are doing our very best to change that. It's so difficult. And we have people who are actually um, they're mitigators. They're watching people don and doff PPE in our COVID units. So we can make sure that we don't make a big mistake that causes an outbreak. I mean, we're actually having a nurse stand there and watch you get in and out of your PPE. It is a very stressful job for those folks. And because they feel like they are the gatekeeper between the pandemic and the rest of the hospital. You're wearing a mask for a week you're wearing a mask till it's soiled and worn out. And we don't in this country have enough PPE to provide the PPE level that we are used to. And it is scary. All of you are truly bearing the brunt of this crisis um, and you're doing it because it's a labor of love. It's what you want to do. really want to know more about show me your stethoscope because as a nurse this is something that you started and it's something that has spread like wildfire across the country it was, it was <laughs> so an accident tell us what inspired you to start that and i created a group called show me your stethoscope and all of a sudden you know i thought like 20 people from the ER, we're gonna post a picture with their stethoscope. And then by like the next morning, it was 30,000 people. And then it was 50 and 100 and half a million. And I literally got hundreds of thousands of pictures of healthcare providers in every nation of the world. So we started doing all kinds of stuff. We do safe staffing rallies in DC. We do, we bought an orphanage in Bangladesh food for a month. It's terrific. And now we do things that are good because I just said, oh my goodness, what am I gonna do with this, right? This huge Facebook group. And I'm like, you're gonna do good. You have to do good with this. We're very excited to have a voice with Show Me Your Stethoscope. 
I completely identify with you saying that. I think that you have given a voice to nurses and you've given a platform for them to share their stories, which is really what our show is all about because um, I truly believe that the more stories that we share, the more aware of life that people deal with and how that affects their minds. It's all about Um, empathy. Storytelling facilitates empathy. And that is, that is exactly what Show Me Your Stethoscope is. We get to have empathy for nurses in every situation, for paramedics and physicians and everybody. 